Git clients are softwares you can use to manipulate a Git repo. The first one we have here is the official Git CLI. CLI means command line interface. Basically, you type commands in a black window. When you remotely connect to a Linux server, you usually don't have a graphical user interface and have to know how to use the CLI tool. It's important to learn Git CLI, but graphical user interface sometimes make your life easier by providing an easy to use interface so that you don't have to remember the commands. It also provides a better visualization of your commit history so you have a better idea about where you are, where your teammates are, and what you should do. It may be too vague for some people to look at a terminal window. And here is a git zsh tip. I personally prefer using zsh over bash. They are both shared languages allowing you to interact with computers. Oh My zsh is a project providing tons of features, such as git plugin. When you type git and hit the tab key, it lists all available commands and their functionalities. It also auto-completes your command when you're halfway through. The git plugin is just one of the many plugins. You can add more plugins, such as Docker, by editing a single file. Newer macOS versions use ZSH as a default shell. If you're using Linux, you may have to install ZSH manually and set ZSH to be the default shell. Windows users will need to install WSL first. Run echo shell to see your current shell. On Git's documentation website, they list many GUI clients. I will introduce three Git GUI clients I've used. The first one is Git Kraken. It's also my favorite. Git Kraken has a free version with limited features. For example, you can't work on private repositories. You can subscribe to their pro plan for more features, but if you are a student, you can use it for free after applying for GitHub Student Developer Pack. GitHub Student Developer Pack provides lots of free services for students. The second GUI client is SourceTree. SourceTree is also very powerful and is free. It's similar to Git Kraken, but has fewer features in my opinion. Git Kraken gives me a better user experience. The third GUI client is GitHub Desktop. GitHub Desktop is easy to use, but has far fewer features than other clients. I list it here only because it's officially provided by GitHub. There are a few other softwares you may be interested in. The first one is GitHub CLI. GitHub CLI brings GitHub to your terminal. It allows you to do GitHub operations you usually do in a browser in a command line interface. The second one is VS Code. VS Code, or Visual Studio Code, is a very powerful code editor with tons of extensions. It comes with a less powerful version control feature, but is good enough most of the time. VS Code also has plenty of Git-related extensions like Git Lens, making VS Code easier to use with Git features like Git Blink. The third one is IntelliJ's built-in VCS. IDEs from Jet Rings, such as IntelliJ, also come with powerful version control system and support Git. But sometimes I don't find them intuitive enough for beginners, so Git Kraken is still my favorite. I will demonstrate more features of Git Kraken and use Git Kraken to show you how Git works.